guys welcome back and I'll now be looking into the individual elements so since you're a fire sign I will we'll be looking into fellow fire signs and how your relationship will be when in dealing with these fellow fire signs so if you are dealing with a fellow Aries a Sagittarius or Leo I will try to uncover how the how the cards and the symbols apply to your relationship and what they could mean for you Okay, the Magician, the Eight of Cups, the Five of Pentacles, and the Ace of Wands. I definitely feel like it's a chance for rebirth for some of you that are dealing with fire signs. <clears throat> I feel like some of you may be leaving a relationship though. So especially if you are dealing with another Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius there might be something that occurs within the relationship that involves you leaving. As we saw in the general read, you did have the Six of Swords. So for those that are contemplating on leaving a relationship behind, the Eight of Cups and the Six of Swords could very well indicate that this is finally taking place, that you're turning your back on someone or a relationship because it no longer serves you um, purpose. Maybe there isn't love, there isn't a connection, maybe not as strongly as you once thought. Maybe it's gone. Maybe this person has become too anxious, too paranoid. And you maybe you just can't deal with this sort of behavior anymore. For some of you, I feel like someone else might be leaving. You feel like you might be feeling like you don't have closure or feeling like it came very, very quickly. That all happened very suddenly. And you might feel like you're left out in the cold. Look, it could even be the other person. But I definitely feel there's a lot of mystery surrounding this exodus or this leaving behind of relationship. Absolutely. There's neglect here. For some of you, I feel like if you're not leaving the relationship, it's like you're taking a break from the relationship and you'll come back stronger. I feel like a break, as indicated by the Eight of Soul, Eight of Cups, can really give you rebirth if you are feeling cold and neglected and just really distant to your mate. And the rebirth is indicated here with the Magician and the Ace of Wands. And I think for some reason... You will be initiating this, Aries. I feel like this is something you need to initiate. You're holding the wand here and you're also holding the wand here. And I feel like you're in your power. And I feel like for some of you that are in a relationship where there is a lot of obscurity, um, we spoke about the Tower card and the Ten of Swords possibly indicating obscurity or lack of movement or things, you know, becoming too too much for you maybe i feel like these next few months might be the a crucial time for you to come out and vocalize how it is you're feeling and i think a break might do you good this is definitely rebirth for some of you if you have been distant with your mate or there's geographical distance that has separated you i feel like this will change in the coming months that you'll be reconciled together possibly. The Magician card is a card of new beginning. So as I said, this notion of rebirth or falling in love with someone once again. And for some, you might be seeking help. The Five of Pentacles could indicate that you need help in relationships. This could be marriage counseling as well. So this is maybe where you're going, maybe where you're leaving behind to seek the help that you need. But I feel like action is required. I feel like some of you definitely need time apart from each other or someone is feeling like they have their back turned on the other. And you have a lot of power in this relation, hold a lot more power than you think you have in this relationship. And you are quite influential to this other person, to your mate, and if it is this fire sign, I feel like if they are in Aries, they're coming in pretty strong as well. And I feel this fire sign could also be, you know, coming into their power and sometimes things can clash. Sometimes you lock horns because this doesn't necessarily work for the both of you. But someone definitely feels like they have the upper hands and the other person has, you know, not as much power in this authority. In, in this relationship, not as much authority, not as much um, involvement. Maybe they feel they're just going along with the ride. And, you know, fire signs don't really tend to act this way. Um, they will vocalize. 
where they feel they need to. <clears throat> but for those that, um, that are wanting to move forward with a beautiful partnership and if your um, significant other has become distant, I think you need to give it time. It's really about manifesting a new beginning and I think with the card here it can symbolize that manifestation can certainly happen. You just need to give it time um, and you just need to exercise patience. Remember the Knight of Swords is impulsive energy. But for some of you there could be a betrayal, there might be some cheating going on and you might learn of this. Not for all of you, for some of you, you might learn about this and be very disheartened by it and then it's going to take a lot of willpower to leave this relationship behind because there is a strong attachment to this person. For some of you, you might feel hurt and pain, you might walk away for a little bit but then you'll come back and you'll reconcile into this relationship. Now for others of you who are happily married, who are happily coupled up, I feel like there might be... Um, someone coming to you for help but I feel like they're coming to both of you for help um, it could be someone from overseas it could be a family member I feel like they're coming to you for solace or for advice and for others of you I feel like you're traveling you're going on a journey with your significant other whether it's um, a, a holiday a journey a trip a relocation and you might be asking for money which would make sense if, it, if it's anything to do with the home or anything to do with relocation and or travels as well so that's the fire signs there. I'm going to continue on with the water signs now. So for those out there who are dealing with water signs, Cancer, Pisces or Scorpio, let's lay out some more cards and see what's happening with water signs in the next coming months. Okay, a little bit of disharmony happening here, confrontation, arguments, things not working cohesively together. Um, disagreements as well but healing will follow with the star card which, which is beautiful a chariot growth in emotion and attachment and the king of pentacles this is beautiful so for some of you there might be an a outside influence coming in it could be family members it could be friends it could be associates but I feel it's other people from outside the relationship that might um, want to jeopardize your relationship somehow the tower card is here it could be like a work romance as well, either for yourself or for your mate. But I feel like somewhere there's um, someone might, you know, be very attracted to your partner, but I feel like they're very strong minded and I don't really see them partaking from the cards here in anything um, hurtful towards you. I just feel like you might find out about it or there might be some sort of argument or confrontation about it. But I think for the most part, this person, there's a lot of loyalty coming from this person, which is beautiful as indicated by the King of Pentacles. And also this person has a lot of love and emotion for you with the chariot. I feel like you'll be pleasantly surprised by what this person is doing for you over the next coming months. And as I said, with this confrontation, you know, it could be just an argument. It doesn't have to be anything major. It could just be things aren't working cohesively around the time of October and November. But I honestly do feel that things will definitely improve. So those that are dealing with a fire sign are with an... Uh, water sign sorry and you find that maybe you're not getting enough of their attention or maybe they're just spending too much time with friends here I feel like this will change the star card is denotive of healing energy things being repaired things being mended and things coming back to alignment as you can see with the stars here so things are definitely coming back into alignment for you which is beautiful that's this really is growth this really is healing and relationships or even if you have sometime earlier this year experienced this sort of, you know, things aren't working together and you're not really seeing eye to eye but you want to move forward. So if this has been happening for you, I feel like it's definitely changing and things will be healing and it will not only be healing emotionally but physically as well. I see you, for those that haven't had um, sex in a while, you haven't been intimate in a while, you've lacked that connection or you just haven't had that opportunity I feel like you will be reunited um, in a very intimate and very raw way in the coming month, which is beautiful as indicated by the nude female here with the star card here. I feel like there's an element of magic that's coming in around you in this relationship. 
something extra special will be done. It might be this water sign that does something very thoughtful for you. Or it might be you that do something very thoughtful for them. But either way, it's a beautiful message here that there is, there is a lot more smooth sailing and a lot more compatibility that's coming up around you, which is beautiful with the chariot card. Again, the notion of stars and stars is magic, stars is healing, stars is feeling like this relationship has so much power over you, but you allow it because you just love how it makes you feel. So it's a very honest and a very pure feeling, but I think it's absolutely beautiful. And with the King of Pentacles and the Chariot, some of you may experience, um, it's almost like you might appear to other people as a power couple. Now, I'm not sure if you're both in the fame industry, maybe, um, or there's a lot of people that are admiring this or admiring the way you heal your arguments or heal your confrontations, whether this is immediate family members, friends, associates, or just people on the outside that are admiring how the two of you are able to mend things if you've had a a, a run-in or you've had a confrontation or you haven't been able to see eye to eye, how much you can grow and come out victorious, which is beautiful. So for those that have had a rough patch, I think you're definitely on the mend. Things are definitely healing and will certainly improve and get better, which I love. I think the water sign will really come out with beautiful this outpour of emotion and it's going to make you feel really good. And the King of Pentacles here could indicate a large asset. So I'm not sure if some of you have noticed a large asset and you're wanting to buy. For some of you, I feel like you're moving in together in the next coming months. There might be little repairs that might need to be done around the house. And this could be like a team of builders or tradesmen that come in and repair uh, where the house needs fixing or the apartment. Because the King of Pentacles is a very established, refined energy. And it is maturity. It's loyalty, it's commitment, and it's maturity. And I love that this has come up in your spread i think this is really indicative of the relationship and where it's heading and i love it i feel like you're both a force to be reckoned with and together you're really a team despite the five of wands despite what you've come out of or what you've recently experienced i think this is absolutely beautiful so let's have a look at earth signs shall we this taurus capricorn virgo Eight of Swords, Seven of Cups, Three of Swords. There might be an Earth sign around you that's contacting or talking to someone else. For some of you, there is a notion that most obviously that there is resistance to a third party situation. A lot of things are up in the air and you're feeling anxious about it. For some of you, not for all, that may be dealing with a Taurus, Capricorn or Virgo. This notion may be coming up in the next three months. Um, where you feel a little bit threatened. So there could be jealousy, there could be a third party situation, there might be someone else coming in. Um, it could be an air sign that's coming in or possibly a water sign with the cups here. I mean, it could even be a fire sign that's coming in and you may feel a little bit threatened. You may feel like it's a little bit of competition with this person because you may feel like with the three of three of swords here like three lives are being intertwined three different people are obviously involved in some sort of triangle here so look it might be a little bit concerning uh, for some of you it might not be that there's actually cheating I think that they may be speaking to someone but that doesn't have to be the case I mean you did have the tower and the ten of swords in underneath in the reading but it look I think you'll be able to tell if this person is who you want in your life and if they're already exhibiting traits that they're maybe emotionally detached or emotionally their heart is still somewhere else um, you know you can fight it and you can pry and you can do all of this but eventually I feel like that's not going to coax them into commitment I feel that needs to happen on their own terms and it could be a difficult three months or it could not um, for some of you, it may just be that past conversations about an ex get really uncomfortable over the next three months. Um, or maybe you bump into one of your exes and it becomes a little bit uncomfortable with the earth sign. Who feels threatened in return? 
and you have to then defend yourself and say, well, no, I'm not connected with this person anymore. They're part of my past. Yes, I once loved them, but there was a lot of things up in the air and, you know, I didn't see the breakup coming or something like that. Because I feel like with the Knight of Swords, someone's going to get hot-headed. The Knight of Swords underneath here with the Seven of Wands, someone will feel angry and it'll just come out really really quickly is what I feel from these cards here but I could be totally wrong for others of you that have no mention of a third party situation there's no x in the picture over the next three months I feel like there's a lot of decision making that needs to happen in this relationship and it could be a number of things as indicated by the assortment here in the seven of cups it could be about the home it could be about friends it could be about career it could be about furnishings I feel like there's a lot of things that are up in the air that need to be discussed and that you may have different opinions about it. So you may not necessarily see eye to eye within the next coming months. You know, with the Eight of Swords and then the Seven of Wands, I'm wondering if around this time you or your significant other feel a little bit closed off from each other. Maybe someone is going through pains and it might have nothing to do with a relationship. Maybe it's the loss of a friend, the loss of a job, the loss of a person around them. Maybe they're losing money. Maybe everything they were working towards in their career or creatively has fallen apart over the next three months. But I think there's a bit of pain. There's a bit of, there's definitely anxiety here. But I also feel with the, with the heart, I feel like someone's dreams are being crushed or someone that someone... Um, something, excuse me, that someone wanted to work towards, um, you know, isn't working the best for them really, really hard and you might have to step up and really be supportive towards them. I feel like earth signs are very hard working and when they don't see these results, you know, they can get deflated um, as anyone can, but I feel like, you know, this may... Um, this may impact the relationship a little bit for some of you. So I think it's important you're a support um, support network. Um, you're a really, you're a rock. I guess a really strong rock for this other person, for your earth sign. And I also feel like for those of you that are planning to travel, as I said, there's travel, there's relocation. Again, it's like you're conflicted and you might have a little bit of a fight saying, well, no, I want to do this, I want to do that. We never see eye to eye. Um... But I think ultimately you will, you will choose something here because the seven of, as much as the seven of cups can be seen as scattered energy, it's also manifestation and choosing things together. So I think towards the end of it, you may find that you come together and be resolved. Absolutely. For some of you, I feel like you might be furniture shopping and doing things together. Um, it could also be that some of you try something new with a third party maybe it's experimenting with someone else I don't know but it's almost like you're going into it blindly and you might be a little bit thrown off about what this person is trying to initiate or what you're maybe trying to initiate towards this person as well let's have a look at um so this is earth signs let's have a look at air signs okay page of swords knight of cups seven of swords Okay, I feel like there's a lot of things coming to the foreground. Lovers, which is beautiful. I feel like a lot of things that are coming to the foreground, definitely a lot of illumination, definitely about people's pasts, what they've done, who they've been with, um, what they've done in their life. Maybe they've had a criminal record. Um, maybe they've seeked help from a psychologist before. I feel like you'll get to know something you didn't know about your air sign partners in the next three months. I definitely feel they're going to open up about obstacles. You know, the Seven of Swords can be deceit. It can be obstacles. It can be something that this person is looking back on or they're constantly thinking about. And this can be very uh, typical of air signs. Um, if they have gotten themselves into something that isn't or wasn't necessarily their best decision at the time, it will definitely stay with them. It's something that they'll carry. And I feel it's something that go they're going to expose to you I think it's important it's pivotal that you're very understanding towards it um, because I think your reaction means everything to them and, it, and 
in turn, it will definitely stay with them as well. Because I see that this person will be stripping bare. You see how we have these nude figures here. I feel like they're completely exposing themselves and they feel, they feel vulnerable, but they also feel like they can trust you enough to do that, that you're almost like an angel to them and they feel they can look up to you and, and gain your understanding. And I think that's very important to them. And if you do that to you and is afraid to tell you, uh, so this might be happening in the next three months and I think they're coming in with their heart on their sleeve, so to speak, because I feel like they've been lacking the clarity to tell you. They don't know the right time. They don't know when to say it. They don't know how to say it. Um, and they're sort of looking over their shoulder. Maybe they're consulting a friend saying, well, how do I do this? How do I get this person, you know, in a relationship? For some of you that are trying to court an air sign or an air sign is trying to court you. I feel like it is a destined, fated relationship that's in your path here, which is beautiful with the lover's card. This is a love that's being brought together by a higher power, a metaphysical power. The angel here, the gods, the universe, the energies, fate, serendipity, call it what you will. This is something that's very intelligently designed to bring the two of you together. So for some, I am seeing that if you've come out of a relationship a previous relationship and you're currently have an air sign around you I feel like this air sign for some of you is definitely wanting love and to be in a commitment and possibly marriage and engagement you know they want the white picket fence they want that happily ever after and they want it with you they see it with you for others I feel like it's it's harder to detach harder to um, pin down this air sign because they are quite a little bit flimsy which they can be sometimes you know they they sometimes can because of their analytical mind and their creativity and their um, imagination they are very much head and not so much heart sometimes so they can approach things logically rather than emotionally and I think this is where maybe they struggle to find commitment because they're too busy weighing up the pros and cons or they're too busy thinking about the relationship rather than feeling their way through the relationship. So for some of you, this is definitely happening as indicated by the Page of Swords and the Seven of Swords, that there's this uncertainty to move forward and they're looking back, maybe looking back and comparing your relationship to previous relationships. Possibly, yes, but the Knight of Cups, in, Knight of Cups here indicates that you are entering into something that's more arduous with this person. So something that's getting a little bit more serious now, coming from those barren flatlands into something more arduous. So I like what this represents. I think there is um, wonderful challenges ahead, but it's nothing that you can't work through. And I think if you stick by this person, you'll see how much commitment you can actually get from them. And I think it's quite substantial. The Knight of Cups is a lover, is emotion. It's an offer of emotion. So I feel there's an air sign that's really offering you their heart or offering you commitment For some of you, I feel like if you are in um, a relationship here, I feel like someone might approach your mate. I feel like there's someone else that might have you and your their eye um, or have their eye on your partner. But again, you'll be learning a lot. They'll be stripping bare. And I think the most pivotal point for you over the next coming months is to really be understanding and really be diplomatic um, rather than get um, offended or get angry or jump into conclusions straight away. I think this is what's going to push this person away. So if you're trying to bring them closer, I think the former way of reacting to things would be, the be would be much better than the latter. So I think it's imperative that you keep that in mind. But look, I hope that's been insightful for you.